contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night team. expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pineda? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pineda not only had a chance, Took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pineda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Championship fight. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the axe murderer, Wanderlei Silva! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Pereira. Heard Dean, our referee Ready for this fight? one. Ready. All right, we are on the way with this stand-up only fight as we remind you of the rule set here. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Well, this kickboxer is a layered striker, and look at that, he is out to prove it early. A beautiful body kick, and on the other side, the boxer has that sort of Piotr Jan high guard yep. paid for it there in the midsection. He's got to bring those elbows down if he wants to defend that kick. But this is the investment, going to the body. These body kicks may not seem like they're going to pay dividends now, but they will as the fight goes on. Straight right is there. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook with kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike 
And Pajeda is a master of it. Three minutes to go. Nice shot there by the champ. Those are big strikes. Try to chase down that finish. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, you land, I land. Is how we're doing here. Well, he misses with the left punch there. But Ada's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got. Oh! Oh, he's got him hurting here. Big body kick lands under the elbow. Oh, my goodness. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to look at. Should have got the fight finished at that time. To sway with every back and forth we go. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him. Continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. Heavy body kick lands. Watch the strike there, counters with a jab. trying to set up that overhand again. He's found a home for it all night long. Let's see if that holds true. But Aiden's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the guard. So perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on. Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. He's in trouble. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. 
So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get it. Another. Oh, and he lands another knee there. DC it doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to fight. put his opponent down. Right. Third round underway. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, seminal moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path and really try and finish this fight. <laughs> Caught the kicks. Just misses with the jab there. Well, you know that. DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Back to the feet now. Silva's really targeting that cut right now, and why not? He has opened up his opponent. Might as well continue to attack that particular area. Oh! And there it is! Holy smokes! And here once more, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 11 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the X murderer So the axe murderer, Vanderlei Silva, in prime form here tonight, and as a result, he gets his hand raised yet again inside the octagon. The celebration is on for one of the true legends of this sport, the axe murderer.